me for a minute. If this looks like hard work for me or standing, I can tell you it's a lot tougher when you're actually doing it. Ah, but I've been doing it a good ten years or more now since I was a young fella. Do you know I started here when I was 15 years of age? And they paid me full wages for the first few weeks until they found out I wasn't 18. I get 33 shillings a week now, but sure, it goes an awful long way in 1950s Cork. I mean, I have to give half it to my mother for lodgings, but sure, the rest of it is mine then. And you can get cake and lemonade in the shop for three pence, go to the cinema for four pence, and go down the arcade for a dance then for a few pence more. What more would you want? Hey, Tommy. Are you going to do any work today? Two seconds there, no boy. You see those boilers there behind me? They're what makes the steam to power the engines down below. And when they're running, it takes seven tons of coal a day to keep them ticking over. The coal comes off from the docks then by horse and cart. And your man weighs it then now over on the old way bridge, you see? And you know what else they do here? They check all the workers here every evening to make sure we don't bring any coal home with us. Isn't that right, Richie? It is, Tommy. They search us every day. Yeah. Ah, but it's a grand job to have all the same. We call the waterworks our little republic, because we're away from the city hall, you see, so we're not bothered that often. The engineer only comes out once in the morning and once in the evening. And sure, we don't start till half eight anyway. Whereas the rest of the city council workers, they start at eight o'clock. That's called walking time now, you see, to give us half an hour to get out here from home in the mornings. But I tell you, today is my favourite day. Being a Friday, the paymaster will be coming out later on. He'll be getting his taxi out from city hall with the wages. So aren't we happy again for another week? Hey Tommy, would you ever give your motor rest and get down to that engine? All right, boy, I'm going. I have to go down there and help the lads in the engine room. Go on away down and I'll meet you in there, yeah? Go on, don't be waiting for me at all.